Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast, the project investigation collaboration, the collaboratory podcast between the founder of the Veritas Project, Robert Curtis. Hello. And investigator Todd, myself, Todd Boyer. And uh, welcome back. Yeah. So last night, and this is what we're going to cover today, last night we had our first podcast actual investigation as a group back together after yep. all the years that we've been apart <laughs> um we had our first investigation yep and we did it on TikTok live yeah and it was awesome yeah it was it was an absolutely amazing investigation and the funny thing was this was not our first place that we were gonna go yeah yeah, yeah. so i had someone tell me that we could investigate part of an old school and the guy made it sound like it was going to be free. He's like, I'll just come unlock it for you guys anytime you want, blah, blah, blah. So I messaged the guy, mm. and suddenly he wants $40 an hour for us to come out and do an investigation. And I was like, uh, I talked to Bob, and Bob and I both agreed it was just a little yeah, too much. Yeah, that's too, wait, $40 an hour for a place when they're going to they're gonna shut the lights off. Yeah. And we're not using anything. Yeah, we're just, we're just walking around in, in it, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's too way too much. Yeah. So... We decided to investigate Bob's family home. Yeah. Not his home here, his family home that right. his grandparents lived in, yeah. his great grandparents lived in. And I will let you tell us some history about the house, Bob. Yeah, my um, great grandfather used the Homestead Act to, to get, purchase that land. And it's been in my family since then, you know, and they, they immigrated from. Uh, uh, Austria and Lithuania, mm -hmm. and my great grandmother's name is actually on the homestead certificate that says, really? you know, from this used to be Indian territory, and now my grandmother, <laughs> great grandmother, well, owned it. Now that you brought that up, like we did get that one picture of a cowboy, yeah, last night. You yeah, know. it was a weird a picture of a horse, and the guy is like holding something, like, but it, it looks like, like a lariat almost, but yeah, it, it was kind like of cut, cut off, up, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know what it was, but yeah. So we went in and we started the investigation about 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we brought all our little, you know, ghost gadgets and everything. Yeah. And Bob had some new stuff that I hadn't seen yet. It's kind of an all in one yeah, the, encompassing uh, ghost, app. Ghost Tube app. And I may have to grab that because that was pretty, pretty darn good. It was neat. doing pretty good, yeah. So, um,. It was great. Yeah. I mean, what can we say? Like I, for, uh, for a place that we didn't plan on anything really, we just had no idea that there was any activity there really, other than just annoying things that happened to us, right. like like the motion cameras. I have cameras set up because no one lives there now, so it's it's covered in cameras all over the whole the whole property is covered, and every night in the middle of the night we get these pop ups on the Ring app that says mm -hmm. uh, person is detected in the living room person is detected in the master bedroom and i just figured it was a glitch or something just mm -hmm. annoying you know because it happens like almost every night and it doesn't say motion detected it says person detected because there's a difference it will say motion detected right. if there's motion detected right like your ceiling fan turns on or something falls over it'll right. say motion <laughs> detected but every time we get these it says person detected and when you open right. the app and look there's nothing there well, <laughs> until last night, yeah. but we'll discuss that last because that's the last thing that happened to us. So, you know, like I said, we went live. We had about 10 people in the live the whole time. Yeah. And I, I do appreciate you guys hanging in with us for that entire investigation. Yeah. And um, the group snap, everybody loved it. Everybody had a good time. Yeah. Um, we so, did something new with the live where we, we set the camera in the, or the phone in the hallway and actually got the the live viewers to help us on the investigation right. so it was kind of cool that we could get the other phone out and then watch our own live while the camera is in a location. another room yeah right and it, so, it was there was some it, crazy <laughs> stuff going on it was crazy so it started out with a feeling yeah. right we were doing our baseline reading going around getting our emf reading going on and we almost kind of cut that short. I mean, well, not really. We got—I guess we did the whole house. Yeah. So, but then as we were heading back, oh, we don't have our book lights on. Oh well, uh -huh. no big deal. Yeah. Um, as we're headed back to the back bedroom, mm -hmm. um, I got the chills. 
from top from base of my neck to my feet, which means something's up. Yeah. If I get it on my arms, that's me just being freaked out. But when I feel it through my whole body, that's when I usually catch my best evidence. Yeah. And yeah. as we're doing the EMF check, we followed an EMF field from the bathroom yep. into the bedroom, and it was a floating field. And then across the bedroom, and it was just a ball. Yeah, it was like a. It was perfect, just a little blip, like, like this big. Softball size sphere of EMF. And moved across the house, <coughs> and then disappeared, and then reappeared in the middle of the room. Yeah. And then moved back again, so it 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 kept repeating, which made me think, well, maybe that's you it know a residual. a residual. Yeah. So, um, so that was kind of crazy. And then we set up with the ovulus. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so we set up with the ovulus, and um, whoo, the ovulus was crazy yeah. and right on the money. I told you I love the obelisk, yeah, man. It was so right on the money. And somebody, it was saying like grandma and like, oh, I yeah. mean, just my, right my on the money. Names, like it, it named my aunt in the <laughs> obelisk. I was like, wow, I had never seen that accuracy in the the obelisk. And then the cool thing was I was using the ghost tube, yeah. which has its own like obelisk built, built into, into it. it yeah. And they were playing off each other. Yeah. They, it would, one would say, the obelisk would say one thing on a different phone. It would say one thing, and then mine would say something to like elaborate on it. Yeah, it was it crazy, was crazy accuracy. Un unbelievable investigation for sure. And then when I sat in the middle of the room and listened, and I think you had gone in the kitchen, mm. like right in the dead center of the room, uh, EMF meter at zero, yeah. sitting in the middle of the floor, and it it jumped all the way, pinged out twice, and then the ovulus just went nuts. Yeah. Just, I mean, the setting that I keep the obelisk on is usually the base setting that I use everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But it was pinging off so much last night that I actually had to turn it down. Yeah, turn the sensitivity Otherwise, down. Otherwise, it, it wouldn't, it, we wouldn't have got a word in edgewise because this thing was just yeah, chattering constantly. up a storm. Yeah. Just chattering I've up never, a storm. I've never seen it like that. And um, <clears throat> for you guys on the live we will actually be adding some of the video from the live last night mm -hmm. when bob edits the youtube yeah so you may want to go back and catch this you know podcast again on the youtube right, on because the YouTube. we will be adding video right so so we were getting impressions from people on the live right as we listened to the obelisk and you know they had some good ideas and stuff and yeah and then we had we had a picture come across that looked like on your app that looked like the attic yeah like the, the door the door to the to attic. the attic yeah it's the second it popped up I, like I that's knew what went in your brain instantly what that was i was like oh well, because at first it was like the attic door and then like gray because it that's yeah. how that ai does it kind of like it's like a dream it kind of fills in right and then originally it was just the attic door and then like gray and then it became like the back view of the house right with the attic door on top of it so we went in there and i could line up that that ghost to yeah. ai photo exactly with the view as you're standing in the door frame of what the attic door looks right. like so <clears throat> with some coaxing from the live audience <laughs> um i got up there in the attic yeah and i got the impression that there is something up there from your great grandparents that they're worried about yeah right um that you know uh like as far as a family heirloom or something you know there might be something up in that attic that right. the you stashed know stashed up there somewhere. stashed up there somewhere and that's kind of the impression i got from from the obelisk and it yeah. was just the energy up there you know like you can't hardly walk up there no i, I mean it's not it's not like an attic with like a floor yeah it's it, just the Floor joists, yeah. And the stuff underneath or it. Or not floor so. joists, but the ceiling. Yeah, joists. the ceiling. What do we call those? Rafters. But, yeah, but yeah. So that was that was kind of wild. And then, well, as the I'd say as the ener as the night started, it was a very calm energy mm. and felt like grandma energy. But then, as the night went on, the energy shifted a little. Yeah. And then, so we kind of, after the attic, though, we kind of went out and we sat in the, we went into the kitchen. Yeah. 
right? We set everybody up in the kitchen. We were looking into like the study den area, whatever yeah. you want to call it, where the entryway is. And I had that real strong smell of sloppy joes. Yeah. I don't know where the hell that came from. Just a strong, strong smell of fresh cooked sloppy joes. Yeah. Just, at, just absurd. Nobody's cooked anything in that house <laughs> in years. Like it, it just a weird smell that just popped out of nowhere. So yeah. And then as we were sitting there, the light fell and it fell like it, a wrong direction. Yeah. So the bag was a little tilted. Like if this were the bag, the bag was tilted a little this way, right? So it should have slid off the side of the bag if the light fell. Yeah. So the light was on about two thirds of the way up the bag, right? And the light, instead of going this way, the light went this way off the end of the bag. Yeah. And it like flipped. It flipped. Because it landed on its face. Not, it didn't slide off. Yeah. It was, it, the it batteries went, were up. Yeah, it, it, it flew off the bag. Like someone had slapped it. Yeah. And that's a, that's my mess, my mess kit. Oh, so yeah, So it yeah. has Molly on top of it. Yeah. So it, it wouldn't slide off. Right. You know what I mean? Because the little straps would hold it where it was. Right. So and that's it, where it I had it. I had it sitting on that strap there. It would have fallen it off the side. Yeah. It wouldn't have gone against four Molly straps and then land on its top. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something yeah. had to have flipped it to make it fall that far. Because the end of the bag is here and it landed like this. Yeah. It like, landed like, like a good almost six a foot inches. away. Yeah. Almost a foot away. Because the end of the bag was that <laughs> was like six inches away. And then it landed another six inches yeah. past the end of the bag. On almost the off the, the table. table. Yeah. Almost off the table, right, right behind the camera, of course. Right, yeah, exactly. literally right behind the camera. <laughs> exactly, it almost hit the camera. So we had that, and um, you know, I got a lot of comments last night. We got a lot of comments from the live about maybe you brought something in with those coffin lids because Bob has a stack of coffin lids. Yeah, and tell them where all the coffin lids come from. Bob. Well, well, when we do, we do cremations and. Uh, for a lot of other funeral homes in the area and they sell a wooden casket it's all wood and to you know to save from having to burn all of that extra wood we take the lids off and the handles off you know and then just chuck them in the dumpster but right that's really good wood it is it's know? nice wood it really yeah, is. It's, it's like hardwood so i'm like well i don't i need wood right to do repairs <laughs> on the house <laughs> so i can get free wood and why not do it yeah you know? so i have a stack of coffin lids like you, i think like, we figured out between lids and bases what you had a dozen at least a dozen there's probably well i've used some too so, yeah yeah so there's probably two I'd, dozen I'd say, yeah, probably about 20 of them that I've, I've saved right i've salvaged i've, I've uh what, what recycled recycled, recycled there we go it. there right. we go we're green yep <laughs> uh yeah so we were sitting in there we we did a lot of evps last night we didn't catch much on the evp except for that dripping sound yeah which and, couldn't really figure out somebody in the uh, live said it sounds like the click that a uh, oxygen mask yeah makes. yeah so and when i listen to it it does really sound like that it has like a tap tap yeah the one the tap, single valve yeah. yeah and at the 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 tempo it was too right so that made a lot of sense the one-way valve on an oxygen mask yeah so uh, we hung out in there for a while and then we went back and did some more EVP, some more, I mean, the whole kitchen was, was crazy too. Like we just sat in the kitchen and the Avalos just was chiming off things that yeah. were just like dead on all night. Just, I mean, word after word after word, just yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely right on for the stuff we were, you know, not even stuff we were talking about. But stuff that was dead on for the house. Yeah, yeah, for and my, dead on my for my the situation the, yeah. and his family, and it was ridiculous. But at one point, it said um, we need beans. Yeah, remember that? And I was, I was just, I was blown away by that because I was like, we do need beans. We haven't grown soybeans in years, and that's and you were talking highest, about that. Yeah, it's our highest uh, crop. It makes the most money. So we've been doing wheat and corn, like, right. I don't care about that. I want soybeans, man. That's where the dollars are. <laughs> right. So you have so, somebody else, there's, there's actual farm property, and they you guys lease it out or just... Yeah, we lease it to the farm next door. Right. So so they, you know, plant on, on your yeah. property. 
But I yeah. thought that was hilarious that the, the officer said that. We need beans. I'm like, yeah, we do. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Well, and as the night carried on, we went back into the bedroom. And that's when things went sideways. Yeah. Yeah, right, right up to like 11 o'clock, creeping up towards midnight is when it started to go off in there. And it was, it was something. The energy changed. Yeah. It was no longer little old grandma energy. It was, yeah. And the obelisk too, because it was saying before, like things that it said like murder and and stuff like that. Yeah, like it it, was, the energy started getting really dark. Yeah. Um, and the obelisk started getting really dark yeah. and started talking about purgatory and like, oh yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. And like it, it got really weird, really fast. So <laughs> we, what we did is we, you guys who were on the live last night, you guys know what happened. We took the camera that we're you, the phone that we were using for the live mm -hmm. and we set it in the hallway. Right. And from the bedroom to the hallway, the the room that the camera was on at the end of the hallway. So if this is the hallway, we set the camera here. There's a doorway here into a bedroom. And on this side is the hallway that goes to the bathroom and the living room. Right. Okay. So we set the camera here. And in that doorway, we set I set a motion sensor by, yeah. the, by the camera. Um, camera down. And then I have a flashlight that has a black light. Right. And I shined my black light down that hallway, and it was the perfect amount of light for the iPhone to pick up. It was beautiful, mm -hmm. except for the fact that there was a shadow in the doorway that yeah. kept freaking it peeking kept, out, like like a like a little head, like a, like the size of a, like a child. Yeah, it was like peeking around the corner, and you could see like sometimes you see the hand, and then the face, and yep. then sometimes you see just the face, and then oh, it was creepy, and and you could. Like in real time, you could see. Yeah, it. you could watch like, it. You know, there's like, like a oh, second man. delay from the broadcast or whatever. But like this went on for, I guess like I had you guys in the hallway, you live guys for like 15, 20 minutes maybe. Yeah. The weirdest part though was at one point at the very top of the door, uh, four tendrils came around the corner and went back. Yeah. Just very quickly, tendrils came out and phew, back. And yeah, that wasn't yeah. cool. Guys, I got the feeling there's something in that left doorway. Yeah, that's that dude. That's what I got the feeling of. What? She said a man looking around the corner hmm. from that left hallway. From the, from where the door is on the left there. That's the feeling I get I have right now. You shouldn't be here. Oh shit, did you guys hear that? You shouldn't be here. Bob Zavala said uh, we shouldn't be here. Was there ever a, there ever a dog in here? Yeah. <clears throat> when my mom was little, they had a dog, but they used to crap on the floor, so Grandpa got rid of it. No, Bob says there used to be a dog in here. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I legit see down the hallway there. Yeah. That's awesome. You know what would be great is like if I had enough people to go to do it, I could set up in another room. Oh yeah. And put boxes. Another live going there. Yeah, way. and we could we could like whoa 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 guys, Did, are you guys seeing that shadow in the bottom left right outside the door? I heard something. Did that move? Like right outside the door on the bottom. If you remember, so we were stirring something up. We were talking about haunted artifacts, and 
I have this uh, radio from World War II that has a civil defense stations on it, and I just liked it because it's a Bakelite, you know, really cool antique radio. Right, right. And I would see this in my apartment all the time. These little tendrils would come from around the door frame, <clears throat> and it was um, almost like a mist, but it had like a like a shape to it. It looked like like smoke tendrils would come around the door, and I would hear knocking and stuff. So I put that radio in my storage unit right and it the that yeah, the next tendrils night, went, away. It went away so it has to be connected to that radio so now in this in in my house there, there's there's something with tendrils something's so. doing it again so we're gonna have to find out what that trigger object is so and then your wife was in the live last night yeah and she's like that house gives me the freaking creeps <laughs> like and i'm not gonna lie like it i started to feel and i even told you at some point i'm like okay I'm feeling watched now. Like, right. that's at the point that we felt the whole energy change. I think that's yeah. right before we went into the kitchen, actually. Yeah. And that's when it started talking about purgatory and, yeah. and ascension Descending, and all that right. stuff. So that's... And I think that has to do with all your coffin lids. Probably. So, you know... <laughs> we have to do a cleanse. In yeah, there. definitely yeah. got to cleanse the, the house and, and bless the coffin lids. Yeah. Which you are an ordained minister. So, right. I mean, you could so go in there and... <laughs> and yeah so but all right so <laughs> we wrapped up bob and i talked right yeah. you guys were you guys were there and watching the hallway and while you guys were watching the hallway bob and i had a discussion and whatever it was and you guys were saying the same thing whatever we got going on in there we we stirred up yeah. and got it a little aggravated right, last night right. because it's the first time anybody's really really been in there in two yeah. years yeah nobody's you know? been in I, I go in and out every once in a while to do work in there but nobody's been in there for hours you know yeah. so we decided <laughs> all right we're gonna wrap at twelve thirty rather than at one o'clock because it was like 12 minutes to twelve thirty. you yeah. know it was like when we were talking it was like twelve twenty two or something like that or twelve twenty whatever anyway that's not the case. I digress. <laughs> um, so we decided to wrap at right. twelve thirty, and so we went outside, and, and Bob and I were shooting the shit like we normally do. And Bob walked to the mailbox, and as he was coming back from the mailbox and walking towards the truck, and he kind of went around a little bit. He swung out away from his truck just a little bit. Yeah. Three taps came from the house. Right, three knocking sounds. Yeah. Then the motion sensor went off, and Bob goes, Oh, that's just us setting off the motion sensor from by the, the door, door here from right. the front door. He pulls out his phone and looks, or did you look at your watch? I don't remember. I, I looked at my watch and it said um, living room motion. It didn't say yeah, it door. Yeah, didn't say it didn't door say motion. Front, you know, front door. So I was like, Oh, well, I want to see that. So then I brought the phone out and looked at it. And clear as day, you can see dust orbs going around in the room, yep. but this one is 100% different. It comes out of the kitchen. Well, it flashed three times like flashes, in the kitchen. Yeah. And then it, it comes right up to the camera and then like f floats off. And then like a second later, it comes up right in front of the camera and goes up. It, it <laughs> starts with three flashes, which I think were the three taps we heard. Yeah. And just go, I mean, literally kind of just kind of goes towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling fan, and then comes down and then, yeah. So that There's video not... will be put with this video so yeah. you guys can see that.
and we watched it again this morning and it's like holy yeah. crap because we saw it on the phone we're like man okay yeah but then the we played it on the 4k monitor, monitor yeah you like big see. it's it it's ridiculous yeah. it is a big orb it yeah. is a big orb like literally softball size yeah. yeah yeah literally the size of of the emf fields that we were getting yeah last it, night it, so it like strobes it doesn't it's not like yeah like, like light reflecting off of dust you know because it is a infrared camera right but it was it like strobes as it's coming through the house yeah and it's, it's absolutely wild and that will like we said that will absolutely be on the actual podcast on youtube yeah. for all you guys watching live right now um Ver, you know that's the same name on youtube the veritas project yeah so and if you're having trouble finding it uh, do, do investigation collaboration yeah, yeah project investigation collaboration will bring that up right up yeah and then just kind of pick and follow and you know but wow what yeah. what an That's adventure best, for us the best what war video i've i've ever ever been involved with i mean i if ghost adventures had that they'd done special <laughs> they'd done, they, they done like a, a whole a whole special about it because it was that good of an orb video. Yeah, I know. I have I have one that I've showed to you where it starts it starts and just goes across. Yeah, and then just it's a perfect. It doesn't fluctuate up and down. It does that flash like that, right, and then right. just appears, and then literally goes in a dead straight line across. But that was in the the bottle works over at the uh, the Lemp the Lemp Brewery. Right, is where I got that one at. So. Yeah. I mean, like we were amped up. Neither I he fell asleep at like three. I fell asleep at like four because yeah. we were so amped up from this video. We we're out there like, yeah, I'm tired, man. I'm gonna go home, go to bed, crash out real hard. No, nope, no, nope, that orb said no. Nope, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put your adrenaline over the top. Yeah, and we're gonna send you guys home. All kinds of amped up. And uh, well, it, yeah, it, it's the 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 whole thing, like the tapping or the knocking sound, the three knocking, and sounds. then the camera went off, and then it was like. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better ending a better to the evidence. night. Yeah, I mean it was, you know, and I and hopefully we got the live saved, and he can cut a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we can because we'd it. like to see the, um, you know, some of the hallway, the hallway action. Footage, definitely was just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you say about an investigation oh. like that? I mean, well, especially in a place we didn't plan on having really any yeah anything anything you yeah. know i was like man it's gonna be the most boring three hours yeah people are gonna hate we'll watching this ghost hunt and you know we'll, just, we'll be able to try out the new app and it, it won't be a total waste you know because it's a it's a <laughs> it's a controlled environment you know so i can come and go as i need to and like right, you know right. what i mean so <clears throat> it's a good baseline for right. testing so either way it would be a good it would be a good investigation but i had no idea yeah that it would it was going to be it, and it was spur of the moment because like after that guy fell through chart wanting to charge us 120 bucks i said i said do you want to want to go to a cemetery yeah, or something go to the cemetery and kick around and i was like well we got we got a house that's sitting empty why don't we go investigate there, there? yeah it's, it's <laughs> quiet you know it's got you know no nobody around it so right. we can go there and not have to worry about any uh noise intrusion or anything and the noise was great i mean the highways kind of by you and occasionally a car goes by on that side yeah. road but as far as that goes it is pretty doggone dark yeah and silent yeah like i i know you guys watching the live like if i didn't have the flashlight dead in front of the camera yeah those guys would not have seen anything you wouldn't see anything at all it's like that house is the where it's where it sits there's only like one street one light. street light right there in the end of the driveway there's no light pollution anywhere around it and then it we own very, the, very the field the 10 acres behind it mm -hmm. so there's nothing at all in that direction i'm very thirsty this morning <laughs> yeah it was it was something it was a hell of an investigation no yeah. shameless plug today no plug today unless you guys like the blaze this is a this was from uh, Glenn Beck's store. Like, hey, um, I saw this shirt you? recently. <laughs> I mean, shameless plug, guys. Shameless plug. Feel how soft that is. That's, that's a nice shirt. That's it really some, is a nice shirt. It's a nice uh, fabric that shirt's made of. It is. It really is. It's it's a Hanes Perfect Tee. Yeah. So it's a really nice shirt. And that's on, on Bob's shop. Yeah, it's on, on uh, uh, the spring, whatever they call it now. Teespring it used to be. Now it's like the spring. The spring. 
And um, so I found out why I couldn't, your Bob told me why I couldn't find yeah. my stuff on there. So my logo is currently in uh, copyright Yeah, they do an uh, investigation. Search. So they're making sure that my logo isn't copyrighted right. somewhere. So as soon as that copyright search is over, they'll let Bob know, Bob will let me know, and, and then, then I'll let you the guys store. know, yeah. and it'll be in the store, and you guys can yeah. get Investigator Todd. Because my too. logo is different, because it's trademarked. And right, his went right through. I have the patent for it, so I can I can show them the documentation from right. the, the PTO that says, I own this logo, I own this name, you know, so, so. it was... <laughs> so if you guys are looking for the merch, you know, you can get the, uh, the, the Veritas Project merch right now. Right. Um, and I'm sure he'll put the link in the yeah I'll in description. It. Well, so. that's kind of a slippery slope because you're not supposed to. Um, it, we're, until we can get monetized, we're not supposed to put advertising links oh, in gotcha, the video. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Huh. We can do it sneakily, like we've been doing. <laughs> we can do it, it must sneakily, be like like we've been doing, where we show a coffee mug or a shirt that we're wearing, right? You know, and you can get away with that all day long. But if you if you have like an actual commercial, right? They're gonna, they're gonna strike your video and take it down. So, wow, we are definitely gonna have to revisit that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We gotta take Angie along next time. Yeah, I so honestly can... I was thinking that last night. It'd been better if we had a camera person. Right. That could just film because it was hard to do the investigation and film at the same time. Yeah. And hold a flashlight and you know what I mean? All the Well, stuff. I was thinking, um, I may make a trip over to uh Five Below again this week. Uh -huh. And get us another one of those camera holders. And then you've got a couple of lights here. Do you have one that's just a flashlight? I the big one is a light and you can kinda you can tune it. Okay. So what we can do is, um, do you have that mount down here? Did you bring it back? Okay. It's upstairs. Okay, so you guys saw the mount that we showed when we were talking about building your uh, ghost bag for under $100. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's a holder, and then we can strap a light. It's got light mounts on it. On three sides. And then um, we can, we can uh, use that to actually hold the light, and somebody can run camera yeah. and, and do it that way. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense for us to yeah. have, have a dedicated camera person. So that'll <laughs> probably be in the future. The plan, though, I, I do believe is, is I this. I think it just did again. <laughs> no, it's recording. It's showing. It? Oh, it yeah, is. it's clicking away. Right. Um, so <laughs> it was red. I, I think. See. I think Bob was <laughs> planning. I mean, was this your idea to 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 go ahead and get rid of some of your older ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was because I have so many redundant. I mean, look. Here, here's two here. Yeah, just in the just in, right here. There's two. Grab. Bob's got another one down there. We're filming. I mean, on one. like we got... we're filming on one. Like Bob's got cameras everywhere. My... And there's another one there that Bob's got. My DSLR. So, um, got, so I think what we're gonna do, or well, I say we, Bob. Um, <laughs> Bob is the workhorse of the group. I'm telling you, uh, if if it weren't for Bob, there wouldn't be a podcast. <laughs> so. Um, Bob is going to sell his older stuff that he doesn't use anymore, and then that money is going to get flipped into a new, a new, a new camera. vlogging camera. Of, yeah. yeah, The newer version of this one, I think, is what I'm going to get. The uh, Sony uh, X7, I think it's called. It's made just for YouTube. So it has all of the the frame rates and everything are, are optimized for oh, wow. using okay. YouTube. That's so that's awesome. why I was that's looking awesome. at, at that one instead of another DSLR. So uh, our actual camera that we have that we bought, Bob actually was able to get it working. Yeah. Only problem is the audio and the video, there's a second delay. Right. So trying to match up the audio and the video, if it is a millisecond off, you guys will see it and it will drive you bat crap crazy. Yeah, it looks like a like a uh, dubbed, it looks, like an old kung fu movie. Yeah. And then it does. It's not a standard like it's off like point one and you can just adjust it right it 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 moves as it's recording right so it's 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 obnoxious and i i just don't want to subject you guys to that <laughs> yeah so hopefully we get the new camera and it <coughs> and if it has a a microphone input on it yeah we'll get we'll microphone input it and we'll get a microphone up here and then everything will be sounding good and we'll be good to go so with that note make sure you follow us on all the other social medias did you yeah. have anything else you want to add bob 
Like not really. Anything think, about the investigation or anything like that? Excited that we got an investigation in. Yeah, we yeah, we've been talking streaming. about it for forever. Um, so make sure you follow us on all the other social medias. You know, Instagram. You know, and we're on everything. Yeah. And everything is either the Veritas Project or R.S. Curtis yeah. for Bob. And mine is all Investigator Todd. And uh, you know, we want to thank you guys for joining us on the podcast. And. Uh, I guess that's it. So yeah. I guess uh, remember, stay curious and find the truth. And we will catch you guys next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. See ya.